a young man on a train. An ordinary enough sight. But for Nicholas Wareham, this journey will not end when the train reaches Darlington. Nicholas is on his way to begin a career in the army, training as a junior soldier with the Royal Corps of Signals at Catterick. the 11th Signal Regiment, where all Royal Signals Junior Soldiers undertake a six-month training course. Ulster Troop, which is to form today, has already been busy for some time. That's the last thing. The new recruits' equipment has been counted and packed. Full combat, complete set. And accommodation prepared for their arrival. The troop commander and troop sergeant have carefully prepared and checked the training programme for the months ahead. Cinema 0830? Yes, sir. Cinema is booked. Uh, everything's sorted after that. The overhead projector, everything. At Darlington Station, corporals of the permanent staff of Ulster Troop meet the trains bringing the 46 recruits aged 16 from all parts of the British Isles. And once we got to Darlington, that was a bag of nerves. Saw our first corporal from our troop. Yeah, and we was all worried about him. But the permanent staff, they're all, they're all OK. Right, is there any from 11th Regiment, Troop? Nobody knew anyone. And everyone was a bit too short to speak. So we all just sat there, all about 50 right. of us. Move from here, up to the steps, and wait for you there. I'll take you on to the bus, and I'll get ourselves to Catholic Camp. Move out and once we were on the bus, then people did start to talk a bit. All the things going through your mind, all what it's going to be like, all the things you've heard, your friends that are in the army that have told you all about the things that they're doing. Once you get there, they say, first ten in this room, so you don't get a choice, like the person you've spoken to on the bus might be in the room upstairs. The first few days are bewildering for the recruits. There never seems to be enough time to get everything done. Visiting the barber shop is one activity which has changed little over the years. Well, the first person went up and he said, do you want it like the lads down the road? So we all said, yeah. And the first lad got a number two. So everyone thought, oh, well, we've got to get a number two, which is quite funny, really. Collecting your personal clothing issue from the quartermaster stores can be a confusing experience. It's not quite like shopping at Marks and Spencers. The socks are made by the Stay Fresh Sock Company. They only stay fresh if you wash them often. <laughs> if you've got water, it's be 
before they'll feel like stilts. If you have, they'll still feel like stilts. Ten grams just last night. Doctor says that. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Remember that. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Take everything off from the waist up and put it into your bag, travelling. I don't care if the sleeves are too long or the sleeves are too short. Yeah. Just look straight ahead. Fifty-seven it is. Remember that. Fifty-seven. And the next. One. Feel all right? Yeah, it's a bit tight, so. How do you know that woman before? Right, 56. When you get yours, you need to put some toilet paper over there to keep it on your head. Remember 56. Off you go. Next! First inspection. I think uh, most of us failed. The corporal sat us all down in a room and showed us how to iron each piece of kit. How to pull boots, we taught that. Um, other soldiers' boots from there, all their ball boots, and thought this is going to take me ages and weeks to do this. And it did as well. This time, as well as getting the width the same, you've got to get the depth the same. And you want to end up with all the folded edges to the same front. And that, the other blankets. And then put it on top, make sure it's all lined off and squared off. You place the bed pack on. <coughs> if you've done it properly, the centre lines of your bed pack should run in line with the centre line of the bed. A visit to the MO gets you a medical that Booper would be proud of. Training is tough, so the army makes sure you're 100% healthy before you start. Training in earnest starts within the first week. The modern army, more than ever, needs its soldiers to be fit and highly trained. Found it hard at first, but if you put the effort in to start off with, you know, I think you can find it, you find it easier as you go on.
Hard work makes for a healthy appetite, and the Army Catering Corps makes sure the food is second to none in both quality and choice. Lovely food. Best food I've ever had. Better than home. There are lots of new skills to learn. I enjoy cooking in the field. Some of the rations are pretty good. I wasn't expecting them to be, you know, all that good, but actually all right. Individual battle skills and shooting play a prominent part in training. Drill too is important, helping to promote coordination and fitness. Well, when we first marched onto the drill square, it was just shambles, total mess. How we're getting on now is just unbelievable from when we first started. And you get disorientated and you don't know which you left from your right. <laughs> Although at first it can seem difficult, Practice soon makes perfect. Well, almost. By the front! Quick! March! Left! Right! Left! Right! Left! Right! Left! Halting! Boy number! By the front! Quick! March! Left! Right! Left! Right! Left! Right! Left! Halting! Boy number! Yes! Explain! Oh, we had to stop playing football. 
The word of command given is squad, as you were, halting by numbers. Squad halt, one. On the word one, you react. Yes? Yes, Corporal. Fine. Get your dressing everywhere, quickly. Squad, two, one. Dear, dear, go away in the drill shed, practice squad one. As soon as you master squad one, then come back to me, all right? You go away, think about your life, and as soon as you've mastered it, you come back to me. Left, right, left, right, left. Squad! Help! This one, two! Oh dear, oh dear. Do not worry, I'll stop you well in front of the camera, do not worry. Hold, turn! After five weeks, the junior soldier reaches the first landmark of his career, the saluting test. Drill, turnout and knowledge of the regiment and corps are tested. And for the first time, the recruit is allowed the privilege of wearing the Royal Corps of Signals cap badge. And you, you get your badge and you feel great. You feel you're really a signalman. Right. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Sally, tight. Sally, tight. Sally, tight. Sally, tight. Sally, tight. Sally, tight. Salute to the front! Salute! This one too! Thanks, sir. We've given this in the past couple of weeks, I think. The Army believes in developing self-confidence and leadership. One of the best ways of doing this is by adventurous training. Adventure training was um, was quite an experience too. We got to do uh, things that we'd never done before, going out canoeing, rock climbing. You can do all sorts up there. But Dent, that was uh, good fun. You do caving, canoeing, abseiling, mountaineering, just as a test, just to see which one you'd like to do on the ELT2 course. I chose caving. And I'm glad I did now, because I really enjoyed my time. I chose canoeing. That was the first two days we went on a, a lake. The third day, which was really good, we went on a moving water. Always capsizing everywhere, because the water was quite fast. But it was good. We uh, learned a lot that week.
Not all training is outdoors. The Royal Corps of Signals is a highly technical corps, so some time is spent in the classroom, brushing up old skills and learning new ones. Current affairs, communication skills and map reading are just three of the subjects to be mastered. As well as working hard, the army plays hard. Sailing, gliding, judo and squash are just some of the hobbies on offer, most at no cost. By the fifth month of training, everything is coming together and the juniors are beginning to look like real soldiers. Weapon training is the best best thing we've done in the whole of his training. So I enjoy firing the weapons on the ranges, especially the SLR. One of my favourite subjects is field craft itself. That's where we go out on the field and you, you're really doing a soldier's part. And finally, there's battle, battle camp where you've got to practice the, the skills that you've been taught and guard the communication centre. Go through the gate and all our defence in front of the bedford stretch. The Lod race offers a supreme test of physical and mental toughness. Your shoulder was killing, you were running, everyone was shouting, there was a lot of noise, of people encouraging you and telling you to go faster and you couldn't, your legs were going through all this water and you were getting bogged down and you couldn't move. 
the log was slipping off his shoulders and it was hurting even more and it was banging up and down. So it was probably one of the hardest physical tests we did. But Shooting and field training have turned the troop into competent riflemen, as the regimental skill at arms competition shows. Shooting against adult trained soldiers and the regimental training staff, Ulster Troop win the team trophy for the rifle shooting, together with other individual prizes. After six months comes the day that Ulster Troop has been working towards, the day of the pass-off parade. The biggest moment in my life, really, because the last six months we've been building up to it, and you never think that you're going to get to it. I'm really looking forward to it because I've been waiting six months for this. Uh, I just hope I do really well. This is a day that none of the pass off troop will ever forget. Some of them being 
minutely inspected. Put up. Knock down, yeah. Get it off and give it a good push and off
absolute prison of Great shoulder. Good morning, sir. I have the honour to present number one troop, Ulster troop and five troop are in the open order awaiting your inspection. May I have your permission to stand Ulster and five troop at ease, sir, please? Yes, please.
Sir, I can't close the parade. Do I have your permission to pass off, sir, please? Yes, please, and congratulations on an excellent work. Thank you, sir. Right! Ta! 
Well, I'm better than the adults anyway. Well, I hope so. You've been at it longer. Tell me, six months, six months training, right? Six months hard training. You fast off. How do you feel now? <laughs> you can't describe it. Well, tell me about the fast off. How was it? Oh, it was all right till we lost a step marching off. I noticed that from nobody else. Uh, it was hot. It's hot out there. It's very hot out there. And your feet are killing you. Anybody else's feet hurting? Yeah. 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 Yeah.